Hello and welcome back to the ICO channel. Today I'm going to show you guys this really cool device that just came out, which is the 400 Mini, but how to connect it with your regular Atari, real Atari joysticks with DB9 connectors. Um, here's my Atari joystick, and this is an iCode Duo Plus Pro device, but uh, you could use the Plus or the Plus Pro, and um, you'll be able to connect uh, your regular joysticks and make um, these things work directly with the 400 Mini. Now, right out of the box, um, unfortunately, um, it's not going to work quite perfectly because you'll be able to move it left and right, but when you push the fire button, it won't start the game. But with this video, we'll show you how to configure it so that uh, all the controls work, as well as how to map these buttons to different functions like start, select, and so on. So you can see I've already configured this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the fire button on Asteroids and it will start the game um, and go into the uh, mode that it's ready for me to begin my player selections. So this is the select button I've mapped to. So I can go to a two player game, for example. This is standard one player. I can uh, keep pressing it and go to two player patrol game, for example. And then black will be start and then you can see now my buttons are also working and my controls are certainly working as well and i want to play this game but uh, let me show you how this works um, so i've also mapped the yellow button as the home button so it will come back to the main screen and then um, the blue button is mapped to option so as i said select start option and home and then um, you know different buttons can be mapped uh, to different things for example if you're playing star raiders and you need to turn shields on or something you can map any of these buttons to an s key for example so let's try that let's go to um, star raiders here uh, i've got it loaded on my uh, usb drive so i'm going to go ahead and Start up Star Raiders. Here it is. And I'm gonna push the yellow button to, to jump in. And then um, we're gonna go ahead and start the game. I believe this is the start. So notice um, when I push down on this, this is toggling shield, which is normally S key on the, um, on the keyboard. And then if I go to the right, I can turn on the computer or if I go to the left I can turn on galactic chart and so on so uh, you can map the different keys to different functions on these buttons here and to do that you just go to the menu system so you push the green and the red at the same time and you'll notice um, that I'm now in the menu system so I'm going to go ahead and um, zoom in here so you can see so to map the buttons, you push the red button, R means red, and then it'll ask you which one do you want to map. For example, I had mapped down to S, so if I push down here, notice that it's set to S. And then the red button increases the number, and green button decreases it. So if I want to set it, for example, to G, I would keep pushing the green button until I get to G. like that, and then I push yellow to save. Now, um, if I go back to uh, things, you'll see down will be the G key, um, so for the galactic chart. Uh, so if I go to front mode and then I push down, uh, notice the galactic chart key. So um, it's quite a nifty device that you can do this stuff with, but to get the device to work, um, you need to connect a USB um, drive and you need to add a game controllers uh, db.txt file um, so let me show you that real quick here so basically what you have is a file called game controllers db.txt um, so you need to format a fat32 USB drive that's that black uh, thing right here in the back of the unit 
So it needs to be a 32 gigabyte or less. So mine's a 16 gigabyte uh, that I formatted to FAT32. And then I added this game controller db.txt file. And I put a link into the video for you all. So you can just download this file and uh, copy it right onto your drive. Or the important line that you, if you already have this file, just add this line, which is for the iCode retro adapter to your file, and then restart the device, and you should be good to go. Now, one thing I will note is that um, the unit, unfortunately, the Mini so far, we've only gotten um, this port to work with player one, and this port works with player two. So because this is mapped to player one only, um, it's not going to see both ports. So unfortunately, it'll only recognize the last port on the device for this as player one. So make sure you connect your joystick to port two, and that's how it's going to work. And then make sure you send these buttons to port two. So the way you do that, see it says A2 here on the screen. That means I'm sending these buttons. It's in Atari mode, and two means these buttons are being sent to port two. If yours says A1, you need to change that. So you're going to push the green and the red buttons like this, and then you're going to go to uh, the configuration menu, which is black. And then notice it says buttons as two. That's what I changed to two. So if yours is set to one, press the white button um, until you get to where, to where it says two and then push yellow twice to exit and then you'll see A2. That's when these buttons are going to be now sent to port 2. So you can make that change. You'll copy the game controls db.txt file to your um, USB drive, reboot the unit, and um, you should be good to go. So hopefully that was helpful. Um, I will be working on adding paddles and maybe we're getting this other port to work. Hopefully I can figure that out. But as of this writing, we only joysticks will work and only one port. Um, so I hope this was helpful. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments and I will answer them gladly. And you can get these units from www.icode.com. Thank you. Have a great day.